What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily change the duration of music inside Premiere Pro. So say if you're working on a project that has to be 30 seconds, 60 seconds long, you want to add some music to it, but you know, music lengths can vary from like two to four minutes. How to easily take that two to four minute track and squeeze it down to 30, 60 seconds. And I'll be showing you guys a new feature called Remix inside Premiere Pro that automatically does it for you. So a few things before we get started. Be sure that you are on the latest version of Premiere Pro. This is version 22.2, and if you need to check your version inside Premiere Pro, go to Premiere Pro about Premiere Pro, and be sure to check the version number right there. If you need to upgrade, go to your Adobe Creative Cloud icon, and then scroll down next to Premiere Pro. There should be an option to update if you are not on the current system. Otherwise, it'll say up to date and you are good to go. Okay, so back in Premiere Pro here, I have some beach footage, and why not? It's springtime here in the States, and I can't wait for summer. So I have some beach clips, and we're going to be adding some tropical music to it. So I downloaded these video clips from Pixels.com just to show you guys, and I downloaded this track from YouTube's free audio library. Now, if you guys are interested on in seeing you know, where you can get free stock music from, I did make another video on that. I'll link it right up here and down in the video description if you want to check that out later. All right, so to get started here, I'm just going to click and drag this clip to my timeline. Let go. And the key here to get to the remix tool is you'll want to select and hold down the ripple edit tool and you'll see a menu pop up on the side and then you can select remix tool. And similar to the rate stretch tool, you can basically take and edit the edge of this song to make it longer or shorter. And you'll notice that once you change it, the essential sound panel will open. But for now, I'm going to take this edge and make it the same length as my montage. And what you'll notice is once you click on it, inside the essential sound panel, it will change the target duration to that new duration. And if you scroll, if you zoom in on your timeline, you'll notice these little squiggly lines. And basically, the, these little squiggly lines are where the remix happens. That's the change in the music, the edit points, per se. So right there, once I played it, that back, you can notice a different part of the song is being played in those edit points. So there you go. That is how to use it. You'll notice that it is a little long, so you can always take this and make it a little bit shorter. If you want to get more precise, just basically keep adjusting it until it's the exact length that you want it. So otherwise, you know, you play this back, you can decide whether you like the way it sounds or not, but there are a few other options that you can adjust here if you do choose so. If you go to the Essential Sound panel, you'll notice that there's a customized drop-down button. When you click that, there's two different areas. You can change the amount of segments and the variations. What segments are, are basically the squiggly lines. So if you do fewer, it will do less. So if we scroll in here, <clears throat> if we zoom in, we'll see that there's only two different periods of time now that the, the music actually changes. If we click on it and we make it larger, and we change it to more, you'll notice that there's more squigglies. Now in basic music, you know, to be on the safe side, the less is probably gonna sound better. You know, the more that the music, the more squigglies and the more that the music changes, the more variability there is where it might not sound right. So I always try to keep it in the middle or maybe even a little bit less. That way the beat doesn't change as often. But you know, it's a creative preference, so feel free to adjust as needed for your own personal project. So next you have variations and you have a slider to change from melodic to harmonic. And basically, you know, if you have a very complex song, you can choose harmonic or lean towards harmonic and it'll focus on the harmonies. And if you have basic beats, I would uh, lean towards melodic and that will help you out. Basically, the more instruments that you have in your song, you'll want to go towards more harmonic and the less instruments, the less beats you can choose melodic. For now, I'm going to keep it in the middle, but 
for example, if you change this, it'll change the song. So you can keep messing with this depending on your song and it will update and you can listen and preview it and determine for your own song whether it works or not. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you use the remix tool inside Premiere Pro to change the length of a song and how to get it kind of sounding correct, you know, by adjusting a few of the different settings that you can do here in the remix essential sounds panel. Now, if you guys are curious and want to see all the other new features in Premiere Pro version 22, I did make a video going over all of them. I'll link it right up here. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.